Hi and welcome to the Kindle Paperwhite how-to video where I'll take you on a whistle-stop tour of all the main features for your reading device. I'll start by going through the general options, then we'll get into the options in and around the books themselves. So without further ado, let's get started. When you start your Kindle, your homepage will likely look something like this. At the very top, we have the device name. Over on the right, I have the Bluetooth enabled, Wi-Fi, battery, and you can see the time there. Below this, I have a row of buttons and I'll come back to these shortly. Lower still, I have the Your Library section and this houses the books I've purchased. I can use the back button to go back. On the right hand side, I have a reading list where I can save books from the store that I want to read later and I'll show you how to do that. We'll go back. Lower still, we have suggested books and I can show you how you can turn that off as well. So I'll just press home and let's have a look at these buttons. So we have the home button, which returns you to the home page, back button, which will bring you back a page. We have a settings button and I'll cover that in a second. The store, this is the Amazon store and uh, the Kindle store, of course. And you have the ability to browse through different categories here. And if there's a book you want to add to your list, just press it and this is to read later. Um, you can go to add list and if you want to read it now, you can select read now or purchase, whatever the option may be. In this example, I'll just add this to my wish list and I've closed that now. So let's just go back, cover the rest of these buttons. So that was store. Now you can do a search and you can do a search across the Kindle store or across any of the books you have. And we have three buttons here, which will give us some more options. But first we'll go through the main settings. So I'll press the settings button. You can see we have airplane mode, so I can enable this and that will turn off the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. I can turn Bluetooth on here. I have dark mode and this inverts the colors, as you can see. We have sync your Kindle. So if you've purchased a book on a computer or another device, tap sync your Kindle and that will pull down the new book to your device. And over here we have all settings. Below this we have brightness and you can turn that up or down. Let's go to all settings and I'll briefly run through these. You have your account and it's registered to myself. Press it and you have options to change the device name. You can add some personal info. We have social networks that you manage. You can deregister your Kindle from your Amazon account. That will remove all of the books and documents, etc. You have special offers and you can see uh, or you can decide how they're displayed on your Kindle. So if we press this and you can hide offers containing images or situations that may not be suitable for all audiences. So you can enable that. At the bottom, we have sent to Kindle email, and this is a personal email address that's given to you. You can email documents to it and they will appear on your Kindle. So from here, let's go back. And the next option is household and family library. And this basically allows two adults to jointly manage up to four children accounts. And you can also share books. Next, we have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. You can turn on airplay mode again. Uh, Wi-Fi networks are available here. So if you're at a friend's house, you, uh, you may want to select a new Wi-Fi network. We have delete Wi-Fi passwords from Amazon and we can turn on Bluetooth here and we can also check and connect to Bluetooth devices. So this is perfect if you want to listen to an audible book. So let's connect these AirPods. I'll just Flip the lid, press the button, tap rescan. And as you can see, it's detected the AirPods. I'll just press. And you can see here it says Andrew's AirPods Pro connected. So that's that. Going back and moving on, we have device options. We have device info so you can check out some info on your Kindle. We have device passcode, which is important if you want security around your account because this is linked to your Kindle. So your Amazon account, uh, you may want to protect it. Just add a passcode. I'm just going to do a simple one here. 
just because it's a test, I suggest you do something a little bit more secure. Click OK. And that is now enabled. We next come down to device time and you can change the time if you so wish. Restart your Kindle, reset your Kindle to its original settings and restart. You will just press this and just say yes. Then we have some advanced options. Um, we can set up how the home and library page looks. So we have the home screen, show store recommendations and reading lists. This is where we can turn this off. And we also have the same or similar with Audible content. Choose how Audible content is shown on your Kindle. And you have a couple of options there. We'll go back. Next up, we have WhisperSync for books. We have a power save or power saver option, privacy and storage management. So it lets you know how much space you have. You can press this button. You can go to manual removal. You can select the books or select books and you can tick and remove if you need to make space. You also have the option, going back a step, to quick archive. Right, so that covers that section. We'll go back. And next we'll go to reading options. We can refresh a page on every page turn and we can enable the vocabulary builder, which I'll show you shortly. Next we have languages and dictionaries. You can choose the language you wish to use. I have English selected. Keyboards, this is English. Dictionary, I'm using English, and there's an option here for a Chinese sort order. Next, we have accessibility, and this gives us the voice view screen reader. We also have invert black and white, which is what we've seen already. Next, we have parental controls and help and user guides. So let's just go home and Next up, it's these three buttons here. And these give you different options. So you can go to your library, your reading lists, the Kindle store, Audible store, Amazon Kids, the experimental browser. And let me show you this. This is a very, very basic browser. And one which you would probably only use if you're very desperate because it is uh, like a 1980s browser. And that's nice in a way because you want to just stay focused on reading. I, I feel so anyway. So that's the experimental browser. Let's go back. Okay, so let's press that button again. Then we have the same settings options, legal, view special offers, create new collection. And as you can see, we do not have the advertising towards the bottom of the page now, the suggested books anyway. Moving on to the books themselves, you'll notice in the bottom right here for title, you'll see three dots. If you don't, just press the three dots up here, then go to your library and you should see them. Once you press them, you get some options, add to collection, remove, delete, mark as read, go to search this book and share. If you want to open a book, tap it and it will take you to the last page you were on. I have this page bookmarked and I'll show you how to use those shortly. In the bottom left, you'll notice it says 37% page 44 and if you tap that it will give you further information eventually it turns off tap again to enable move over to the right you'll see word wise and if you tap that and show what this will do is explain some words on the fly so this will save you looking up words if you find that useful you can have fewer hints or you can have more hints and you can just hide to turn it off, tap on the screen to remove it. Now, if you'd like to look up a word or save a word, all you need to do is press and hold it. It will become underlined and you can see here it's given the dictionary definition. I can swipe to the right and it also gives me the Wikipedia entry and you can set up translation. Tap on the screen to go back. Let's select it again. I can highlight it. If I change my mind, press and hold again. Delete. Press and hold again. 
This time I'll make a note and I can say, this is a note to myself and I'll show you how to access these. I'll just say like, just for demo purposes. It gives it number nine because I've saved some previous entries. If I decide to remove it, I can highlight it and again, delete. Highlight once more, share. And what this will allow me to do is email this. I just pop in an email address and I can send that. And it will also send, let's go back, parts of the book as a free preview. So let's cancel that. Right, so next let's change the font size. And to do this, all we need to do is pinch in or pinch out. As you can see, the font size changes. There is another way to do this as well. We go to the upper quadrant of the screen here and tap. We have the home back settings menu that we're familiar with. This time we have an AA as well. So let's tap that. And first off, we have themes. This is the customized current theme. We can change that to compact, standard, or large. We can go to font. And here I can change the font family. If I so wish, choose a different style of font. I can embolden. That may be useful for some people. And you can also change the size from here. I can go to layout. And this is where I can change from portrait to landscape. I can also change the margin size. and the spacing between lines. And here we have alignment. If I go to more, I can have the reading progress, page in book, show clock while reading, if I wish to have the time, that will appear top center. Book mentions, whoop, let's go back a bit. Book mentions identifies names of other books mentioned in this book, about this book, Popular highlights, so if other Kindle users have highlighted a section, that will appear highlighted in your book as well. We have the highlight menu and WordWise. Just at the bottom, show multiple choice hints and language. So let's come out of that. We'll go back to the upper quadrant of the screen. We have a go to section. And this will allow me to go to any section of the book. I can also access the notes I've made. upper quadrant again. Here we have the bookmarks. So if I tap the bookmarks, you can see I'm currently bookmarked on page 44. I have previous bookmarks. So if I wanted to go back, I can select one. It puts this mini page here. I can tap it and I'm back on a previous page. Go to the bookmark again, go to my current page and return. So let's go up here again. This time we'll go to the three dots. So this is a context menu this time and we'll see some different options. One of which is the vocabulary builder. Now these are the words I've looked up previously and what I can do, I can highlight one and it will give me the dictionary definition once more. And it will also show me where it was used in the book. And if I like, I can delete. We also have the option to use flashcards and this just gives you the option to learn the word. You can see where it's used. Again, you can go to the dictionary definition and if you feel comfortable with it, just mark as mastered. Exit flashcards at the top here. Next up, oh, let's go back. We'll go to the three dots once more. Settings are the main settings. We can disable the touchscreen if we wish. Notes we've seen about this book, general information. We also have x-ray and this is useful because it gives a, a bird's eye view of the book. So you can see how many times a character is mentioned, how many times a place is mentioned. And it's really handy actually if you're studying or you just need to refresh on a book and its characters.
going to be three dots once more. We are coming down the list and we have sync to purpose page and we also have share. So that covers all of those menus. One more thing we can do is actually take a screenshot and to do that, we just tap the corners diagonally from each other, just like this. We'll see a flash and a screenshot has been taken. And when you connect your device to your computer, you'll be able to drag that onto your computer. So that covers all the main areas for your Kindle Paperwhite. I hope you found something useful in it and I hope you enjoy using your Kindle. If it has been useful, please give the video a quick thumbs up. It really helps me out. Thanks very much for choosing my video and I wish you a great day ahead.